All right, here's the main part of Mobile ATM from the back end. Uh, this is stuff we can update dynamically. Port, our membership that we're going to launch, other plugins, all this can be updated. Uh, settings down here. All right, plugin page. I'll show you what this means. You got to create a page, and all these will be created underneath it, so it's not a big deal. Hide page from navigation. Yes, I won't. Page layout to phones and default URL for the second phone. So you can put an example mobile site in here. So if you forget to add it, one will automatically be added. Show name field, yes. Email, this is the email it's coming from. The name, read notify integration. So say we're sending it to joe at joesrestaurant.com. It'll add dot read notify to the end. Send email on view and send email on submit. I'll show you what these do here in a minute. Basically, when you send out the email, when somebody clicks on the link and views the page, you'll get an email. At the bottom, it asks them for their phone number. When they put the phone number, you'll get an email. SMS, Twilio integration, this works with a free account or free one dollar whatever you got paid for the phone number phone number your phone number you want it forwarded to sms on view text message on view text message on submit so when they do all this it'll get sent straight to their phone and let's go through these real quick i'm adding some templates tonight so if you look here at edit you can create as many template emails as you want i'll show you what those do but when you edit it here, you got some short codes here. You can name your template so you can have as many templates as you want and as many email copy in here. And the page templates. My computer's running slow with a shampoo. Same thing here. You can add as many page templates as you want. We have some graphical headlines already in here, which you can pick from here. And then. It's going to show that. It's going to show the two phones, and you can add this text. And you can make as many templates you want here and rename them. I'm going to have templates already in here. Now let's get on to the fun stuff, business pages. I'm going to show you how easy this is. Add new. Template, we'll just go with the default. Business name, uh, Eric LaSalle. Body shop. We'll say it's Eric. is his name. Phone number. And this gets updated dynamically. Let me grab this real quick. Copy. The email, I'm going to use my test email so you guys, so I can actually check and show you. Ah, website. Get that. Example website. Let's get that. Boom. Okay, that's all you have to do here. Then you click Add. Boom. You can add your next one now. Let's go back to the business pages. Here's the one we just created. This is the graphical uh, image headline that I was talking about the drop down. It shows theirs. It shows your example one. And on these, you can scroll like you would on a phone. Boom, boom. So these are really, really cool to have here. Then here's all the text, and it's going to say, hey, put your phone number below to get a call back about these. They do that, and before I do that, let me show you something. Here you can see the phone number is 312-2337-3903. And that's fine. As you can see here, viewed no, contacted no. So I'm going to go through this process real quick. Send email to test at biz reviews. And it's automatically going to add dot at the end. We're going to send this. X out of here. We're still in the plugin. I'm going to go over here and check that email. All right. So this is what they're going to do. They're going to get the email. Boom. Just have a look at your website. This is all going to be templatized, and it's not going to say this. But mybizreviews.com, Eric LaSalle Body Shop, so it's going to be in there. And they click on that. It's going to open up, so they're going to see it. And if you go back here and refresh this, right here you see View Node, New. Click like that. Oh, it's because I'm logged in. Hold on one second. Pull up Google Chrome real quick. Alright, there it is on Google Chrome. 
Now let's go back here. Boom. It's viewed. You know the day and time they viewed it. Now let's go back here. And notice the phone number right here right now. Now when we go back here, let's say we looked at this. Hell yeah, we want to call this guy. We're going to call 555-555. Dash five 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 five. Contact me. Boom. Thanks for being touched. They can edit this right here. Now, if we go back to here, hit refresh. Two things are going to happen. Contact request at that time, and it automatically changes their phone number. Now, let's see what's happened in the email it was sent from. Access webmail. All right. Here's the read notify saying somebody's opened it. Yeah. Here's the email you'll get. Eric LaSalle, business body shop, contact Eric, phone number. That's the phone number that we added when we created the page, his website, and his email. This is just saying they viewed their page. So when they view their page, you'll get this. When they click on the submit phone number, you'll get this. Eric LaSalle, it's just request mobile website information, contact name Eric, number, all that. See the numbers changed. And if I can show you my cell phone, I got Twilio messages for both those as well. So that's the basis part here and how easy these are to create. See this bulk upload? You can upload a CSV file, put business name, contact, phone number, email, website, um, an example website and all this stuff, bulk upload them, and it'll create all of them, and then you can auto check all of them and click bulk send, and it'll bulk send all of them. So you can pay somebody an outsourcer a couple dollars, have them grab a hundred businesses, put them in a CSV file for you. All you do here is click browse, upload it, check them all, bulk send, and it'll go through and send all these. We got throttling on it, and yeah, it's fucking crazy. So I'm gonna stop this video for now. So.